Angeles Lakers. 13 in a row, that says something. Again, 108 to 95. Manu Ginobili with 20 points, four boards, and four assists in that victory. The Warriors not to be outdone. 40 wins for them. They outpaced Indiana 122 to 110. Steph Curry makes a half court shot. Pretty phenomenal. 39 points, but what do you expect? 10 boards and 12 assists in that victory. The Thunder in a tight one over the Mavericks, 109 to 106. Kevin Durant with 24 points, three boards, and seven assists. On to the NFL. The Patriots will do their best, of course, to do what they can to eliminate their foes, the Denver Broncos, in the AFC matchup championship style. Here's Tom Brady. You know, I think playing seven, someone 17 times is pretty cool, so especially someone as great as him. So it's going to be a big challenge for us. Um, they present a lot of challenges on defense. They got best defense in the league, so they do a lot of things well. And uh, certainly, it's a huge challenge to go out there and beat them. Patriots and Broncos, 305 afterwards, cards in the Panthers. Kate Delaney, NBC Sports Radio. This is KCAA. Hey guys, Pat Matthews here to tell you about the newest and best way to sell products online. It's buysellmakeoffer.com, an enormously revolutionary way to sell your stuff online. It's time to clean out the garage, your old golf clubs, sports equipment, tools, and yes, even your car. Forget about the way the other guys have taken more than their share from you when the sales were finalized. Look, it's happened to me over and over and over. Then I found buysellmakeoffer.com. They will never charge you item fees. Just go there right now to sign up and load all your stuff to our server to sell. This is not an auction site. Sell your car. Sell your home. Realtor, sign up now. Just use our resources along with Skype and videos, then add your creativity to sell your items quickly and with no fees. Go right now to buysellmakeoffer.com and sign up. The excitement is building. I've signed up to sell my stuff with buysellmakeoffer.com. You should too. Buysellmakeoffer.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill for pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-643-6931 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-643-6931 to take your call now. Call 1-800-643-6931. That's 1-800-643-6931. Again, 1-800-643-6931. Hey, Di, do you know that many people have no idea that the Carousel Mall is actually open? What? Do you tell them that that's where KCAA is located? Of course, but there's more than just KCAA here. Oh, I know. It's a totally great place for a girls' outing. Here at the Carousel Mall, there's Mega Beauty Supply. And it's huge. Yeah, the biggest beauty supply store I've ever seen. And they have wigs and extensions. Then there's Backstreet Beauty Salon and Daniel's Jewelers, a store, by the way, for girls' and guys. Yes, and nail fashions where they do waxing and eyelash extensions. There's Lisa's threading. You know, Mark, eyebrow threading is a big thing nowadays. I do know about Mr. (laughs) Yu's. Yes, when you're ready for lunch, it's Mr. Yu's Chinese restaurant. Mm Mm-mm, best of all, Mr. Yu's is right next to KCAA. Yes, all this located in the Carousel Mall, right off the 215, the 2nd and 3rd Street exit. Come visit the Carousel Mall. We're open. For more info, go to kcaaradio.com. K-C-A-A.
Welcome to I'm Mad as Hell with Lloyd Brock and Greg Simpson. Now, if you want to share your anger, this is the station KCAA every Saturday at 12 noon. If you're mad as hell at the government, politicians, IRS, your bank, a car dealer, or the court system, let us know. You may want to be one of our in-studio guests or just call in and vent that anger. 1-888-909-1050 1-888-909-1050 or 909-888-5222 locally. We may not be able to resolve your individual problems, but we will give you a forum to share your anger with our listeners. Now, join us at KCAA 1050 AM and at KCAARadio.com or check us out at Ustream. Now, here's Lloyd and Greg. Been yelling at you. Well, I, I, uh, I lost my voice. Oh, boy. that's it. You know, I got uh, a touch of laryngitis. It's lurking. So, it's lurking. Well, yeah, that's what I'm mad as hell about. <laughs> okay. But I mean, today. Okay. I, I couldn't get anybody to sit in for me. Hey, you sound so, like Wolfman you know, Jack. Just, almost. Yeah, Wolfman Jack. <laughs> Any rate, uh, one thing. Uh, I have a relative that's mad as hell, and she didn't want to come on. So I said, look, I'll take care of this. This is about insurance. Okay. you got to be careful about buying insurance because, I mean, you can get uh, shafted in the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, tell me about it. She bought, uh, she's 86 years old now. But she bought this policy, a $25,000 policy, for $38 a month. And she's had it for 20 years. And she got a letter the other day saying that they're going to, it's reached the end of its uh, usefulness. Term? Yeah, term. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's going to be $213 for one year. Oh, wonderful. And... Uh, after that, it'll be three hundred and thirteen dollars for the next four years. Oh, for crying and out! And then four hundred and eighty-five dollars a month until she reaches a hundred years old, which is. But she gets a letter yeah. from the president. And, and no, but <laughs> she called them up and they said, "Well, the cash value, if you'd like to cash it out, is five hundred and forty-three dollars." Oh my God, that is but so. But after all these years. They don't tell you the consequences of this. There's a lot of uh, insurance policies out there that will not go up, uh-huh. and it's for the life, you know. Yeah, term life. Yeah, is yeah. What a lot of times it, it, but a, a lot of the older policies are 20 years, uh-huh. and they're just hoping you'll expire before, or you know, <laughs> or you'll probably live <laughs> yeah, yeah, longer. Yeah. Now, now you're living longer, so sure. you just. Uh, Change the expiration date, Well, that's what's date, called right? insurance, you yes. know, basically. But Life insurance, though. She's mad as hell about that, and I would be, too. Yeah, I would be, too. Watch your policies. Check your uh, policies. Good idea. I canceled my term life years ago. Yeah. It's good to have when your kids are home, but, you know, after that, I think it's a, a waste. Well, I've got accidental. Yeah. Okay, well, of course. 100000 Well, Well, you make people mad. You better cheating. have accidental. Double indemnity. All yeah, that. yeah. So I could be shot any day. Any day. Yep, that's right. Just, you know, <laughs> we're very controversial. Shot out here. of a cannon or something. But <laughs> At any rate, that's one of the things I'm mad as hell. What are you mad as hell? I'm mad as hell. I was just, I just got mad as hell about this, but I'm mad about it because it, it it hits home. You know, it's a, a guy he collected. uh, uh, Well, he played a the dancing hamster. You probably seen him on commercials for Kia. He was the dancing hamster driving, doing all this jive stuff. Yeah, and he was. uh, 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 collecting money. His name is Leroy Barnes. I might as well give him a plug. And <laughs> <laughs> why? Why not? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he'll he'll be uh, doing some. Uh, he got caught for insurance fraud, defrauding workman's comp. Uh, out of fifty one thousand dollars he collected on workman's comp during this time he was working as this hamster. Oh, he wasn't declaring it. Right? And he, yeah, he didn't <laughs> declare it, so they got him on a deal, and he gets ninety days of electronic monitoring and. 400 hours of charity work, and I think he has to pay a $24,000 restitution. 
Well, so, only rightfully so. Rightfully so, you know. Why but, not the whole amount? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Why not the whole amount? <laughs> and for 13 years, I was on a workman's comp case, and it was uh, dog eat dog, you know, and they treated me like a criminal. They, uh, my best friend, same thing, and other friends, and we've had guests on oh, here yeah, that talked did. about we it. Did. Yeah. And, you know, this guy's out there just, he's the problem, you know, and. And uh, uh, well, there's thousands like him. That's too. right. That's his was probably just a little, little bit, you know. I, I know a couple of guys are working off the books. Yeah. Well, I've, I've seen. Things, I you know. I had a friend that did the same thing years ago, and I didn't think much of it. Now, you know, after I get injured and I get caught in the system, I think a lot. Well, about it. you know, it's like that big brother watching you. You know, I, I sure. I didn't think it was my job to turn these people in. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I mean, you feel the same way. But uh, somebody's got to. Yeah, somebody's got to do it. Well, speak well, Steve, up. Our, the attorney we had on on said, you know, that he goes and catches them. He he works both sides, and he said he goes out and he gets a pleasure out of catching these fraudsters. You know, and he said they're usually pretty easy to catch just by talking to a neighbor, because most of the neighbors don't like them. You know, and they they tell yeah. them. So you know. Says, oh yeah, I saw him moving a piano the other day. Yeah, right. They <laughs> were doing something, you know, that was a little bit. He had a bad back. He can't walk. Go to work. But by the same token, somebody could be caught into a situation where they had to do something physical, yeah. a one-time deal, and they get caught, and it's in their disability's real. So you know, you got to be real careful. And, and well, that's yourself. true. But yeah. uh, anyway, I'm mad about the the whole thing that uh, uh, you know the system. Uh, well, uh, they they need more in, these guys. more investigators sure. on these workman comp uh, workman's comp cases. Yeah, and as a rule, you know, if they're going to commit fraud, it's going to be early on in the case. It's not going to be ten years down the line or six years down the line. So, I've know. got an idea. Why don't they have uh, make sure that each one does a polygraph? Yeah, you like that polygraph, don't you? <laughs> well, you think it's effective? It is. I, it I, it I, is. And if I knew that I was going to be subjected to a lie detector test on my Workman's comp case. I may say, "Hey, I'm fine. Right. Look, look, I can jump up and down." And, 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 <laughs> but I'm see, this okay isn't even the worst problem. The worst problem is the doctors in some of these cases. You know. Well, they they're, do. They they not honest either. You know. Well, they want to make money. Yeah. So each time they see them, they make money. Right. If you don't see patients, you don't make money. You don't make money. That's right. Well, now with this new Obamacare, they're going to have two thousand patients a day. You know, and they're not going to be able to see all of them, are they? <laughs> well, that that's the problem. That is the problem. Sure it is. You see, that's why uh, the politicians are uh, <laughs> trying to make all these changes, you know, and then um, Bernie Sanders said he has a solution for the whole thing. He said uh, one pay premium, and that was it. You take care of everything. You know? Oh, okay. And just uh, you think suppose if they had told the truth at the beginning, if Obama had told the truth at the beginning, we might have had a, a good health care system? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not prone to telling yeah, the no, truth. No, he's not, I know. <laughs> and neither is... Uh... Hillary, his uh, soulmate. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't know if I can call her a soulmate. Can I call her a soulmate? No. She's in the same <laughs> profession. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She wants the same job. That's true. What a shame. Continue with the same lies. Yeah, same lies, same everything. Mm-hmm. We'll get into Benghazi deal a little later. Well, so that, these aren't that. just uh, us speaking. I mean, it's been in the press. Everywhere. We know that they both lied. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> without a doubt. Without a doubt. Without but a we've got to cut for a commercial okay. in a minute, and then we'll come back and, and we'll, come we'll, back and maybe we'll discuss this. this a little bit more in detail. Okay. Because I think you have some things there. I got some. I got some. A very nice lady from Ohio provided me some good research. Yeah. uh, What a nice thing to do, Lulu. I appreciate it. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I know. You printed it for me. (laughs) (laughs) And it's true. And it's true, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll be right back. All right. Wow, am I thirsty. Whoa. Are you really? Yes. I think you should come up to Oak Hills Brewing Company, home of the best brews in the high desert. High desert? That's where I'm from. Oh, do you know Floyd? Yeah. Oh, okay. Say hello. brother Lloyd. Yeah, I know him. Say hello to Floyd. (laughs) Founded by two entrepreneurs, these big dreams turned into Oak Hills Brewing Company. They have yummy brews, select ales, craft ales, Craft sodas, root beer, ginger ale, and cream soda for the kids. How many? 
How many kids? I, no, I, how I many brews? I don't many... care how many kids come up. Oh, okay. Uh, they have three brews. Okay. Uh, for kids. Then they have 13 brews for adults. Oh, love it. Love it, love it. I'm glad. Oak Hills Brewing. Mondays, 5 to 9. Thursdays, 3 to 9. Friday, 1 to 10. And Saturday, 1 to 10. Oak Hills Brewing Company. I'm going up right now. Do you know how to get there? Yeah, almost. Okay, well, let me just make sure. 15 north to the 395, past two signals, turn right on Poplar, and you're there. Oakhillsbrewing.com. On my way. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Lloyd and Greg are back. Say we gotta. <laughs> I gotta remind the people too. I mean, it's okay, a good, yeah. Why don't you do that? And then we'll... Yeah, well, they. Uh, Oak Hills is a great place. Yes, it is. Yeah, you I really... haven't been there, but you said they have cream soda, and I oh. can't wait to try it. He makes his own cream soda right wow. there. I mean, it's really good. The water is terrific, yeah, and going. that's what makes good brews there. Yeah, oh yeah. But uh, I got to remind our callers that uh, I, we'd like to have you call in and voice your opinion. On, uh, if you're mad as hell about anything, sure. Just tell us about it. Just call us. The local number is one nine zero nine eight eight eight. Five two two two. Toll free long distance is one eight 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 nine zero nine one zero five zero. That's true. And well, it's know, about anything. If you agree, disagree. Well, we've got uh, some news here. Okay, uh, want to do that? The okay. station, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. It's a mobile podcast. The link is located right here. You can go to uh, for the mobile podcast. Uh, just go to www.madaslarchive.com uh, to your website or Facebook page or your other social media sites. And this is a new 32K podcast link to our shows. And that uh, and it should work with every smartphone as well as a desktop computer. Oh, okay. And you can all... Uh, the podcast link and... You can go to that podcast and, and uh, mention, as I say, I'm going to mention the, um, this link is available for our show on all KCAA shows. All you have to do is go to www.kcaaexpress.com, and that covers all of the shows. Express.com. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's done, even with my... Yeah, Shattered, you did well. Shattered voice. I don't know if the people are hearing it well, but it, <laughs> it's okay with me. You know, we're going to talk about uh, poli- political corruption. At oh, the wait a minute. No? I want to tell you, I'm not related to David Brock. That's right. Okay. The guy that's all in all the news reports that uh, is now pushing Hillary. and yeah. uh, He is not related to me. People keep calling. In any way, and shape, said, or form. No. Right? And the DNA proves it? Uh, well, I haven't gone that far. I thought you went DNA. No. Okay. <laughs> not for him. Oh, okay, not he for him. He could be related. He could be related in some far But I, I'm not going to claim him. Okay, don't claim him, please. Okay. All right. Uh, anyway, we're going to talk about something that has affected society forever, affects it now, and it's called lies. And lies our kids tell them. Everybody tells lies, including myself. We all tell lies. Some of them are... Or you know, no, it's a fabri- bad. fabrication. Fabrication. Okay, I that's a that's a better know, term, and it might be more honest. But see, the but difference. These, well, we're talking. Yeah, I'm going to tell the biblical uh, deal on. I'm going to read this. Uh, no, but God's the difference story. I see is the uh-huh. uh, fabrications yeah, are those you. little white lies that don't hurt anybody. Sure. Uh, lies really do hurt people. They do. Just lies. <laughs> lies like we're going to talk about kill people. And destroy countries, destroy world. <laughs> you know, but, you know, the fabrications, we've all said, you know, the wife comes up and says, do I look, how about this dress? Does it look good on me? <laughs> just, that's a hairdo you never or something, said you know. That. I just, well, of course it does. I mean, it looks great. Yeah, that's no problem. That's right. If you say, that looks like a piece of, uh, you know. Yeah. And then you've got What's problems. What's going to that relationship? <laughs> Well, God describes, uh, this, everybody has books that they read, and, and everybody li- uh, dislikes lies, and everybody knows what lies are. I have a book that I use to, to tell me the moral truths, and it's the Bible. 
And in John 8, 44, it says, You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. That's pretty clear in my book, you know. I, uh, God is saying that uh, uh, Satan is the father of lies. Well, I and, mean, we have a, a we lot got of it. politicians in here. That are evidently yeah. subscribing. It it's, uh, uh, says on. I'm going to do a little Benghazi here and, and talk about it a little bit. I got a movie out uh, uh, telling about this woman that's uh, so deceitful and such a liar. You know she has to be well, walking. I haven't hand seen that uh, 13 hours yet, but yeah. I want to see that. Yeah, I, I think I want to see it too. But if, you, if anybody out there has seen it, you give us a call and give us a call. Yeah, let us know what you thought of it. Yes, when Hillary Clinton and Obama lied on Benghazi, you can't even count the number of lies. They're, they're incountable, innumerable, time after time. What was that? No. <laughs> okay. It's, it says people died, Hillary lied. Obama lied too. They lied early, they lied often, and they lied deliberately. They lied about the slaughter of four Americans in Benghazi, Libya, at the hands of al-Qaeda tied terrorists. They lied, but not to protect vital national secrets or Flamox America's enemies. Well, they we lied to get reelected. We don't know about. That. Well, pretty <laughs> Some much. Some of this stuff. Yeah, we don't know. We can't guarantee. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, this is what what it looks like, and this, if you read diligently, like like uh, my friend did, and like I I concur when I read. Um, it sure stands to reason, you know, that they didn't tell the truth. That's right. Ever. It said they lied. Oh, that, that's not true either because she, she texted her daughter the truth of what was happening oh, under yes. a code. Oh, that's true. She used a code. It said and they lied directly, knowing and repeatedly to the American people. And it says, and, and uh, you know, you're, I'm a confirmed and consistent critic of Hillary and Obama. I always have. Right after they uh, was the first election, Hillary, I've been a critic for for a long time. Uh, there's no no, I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> I really don't like those. Well, people. I don't either. So I'm I'm sorry, but they're my president, and uh, she was the uh, secretary secretary of state. Of state. Sure. So I want my country to be honorable. I want my country to be represented. So I kept my mouth shut. Well, now I have a forum where I can at least speak out, and we have a chance to change this. And I believe it needs to be changed. This is dirty underwear at its very worst. And, uh, you know, uh, during the fog of war, during the Benghazi attack, when people are shooting and dying, you know, you, you should be coming out and being honest. You know, there's an inflamed mob. So what do they blame it on? On a... On a, uh, a video. On a, yeah, on a... On a uh, uh, Prop, on Prophet Muhammad being, uh, um, what do they call it, uh, when they're dissed? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> dishonored. Yeah, just, yeah dishonored, dishonored or whatever. And then, then, uh, uh, then uh, you know, for the first 12 hours after the assault began, they might deserve a grudging pass, at least for early announcements. You know, they, they you could pass them well, for the first yeah. 12 hours maybe. And then Hillary comes up with some breathtaking mendacity. That's to use my friend's word. It says, uh, it was unjustifiably generous toward Hillary and Obama. Instead, I should have been profoundly cynical. She used to, she used to kind of support them, uh, yeah. you know, in her thinking. She's a very intelligent person, so she was saying she used to support them. She doesn't anymore, of course. Yeah. And she said she checked this fact. Check.org chronicled on Friday that Al Gordon Kravitz detailed in the Wall Street Journal on Monday, Clinton issued a statement on the attack at 10.32 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on September 11, 2012. It read in part, Some have sought to justify this vicious behavior as a response to inflammatory material posted on the Internet. The United States deplores any international effort to denigrate the religious beliefs of others. We never have uh, uh, denigrated anybody's religious beliefs. Yeah, I don't yeah. care what they are. We don't, denig we don't do that in America. Yeah. Never have, and hopefully we won't start now. It said at 11.12 p.m., just 40 minutes later, Hillary re remailed her daughter. This is what I was alluding to earlier. Chelsea, with the truth? Two of our officers were killed in Benghazi by an al-Qaeda-like group. Hillary's email was addressed to Diane Reynolds, Chelsea's code name. The yeah. smoking email surfaced during Hillary's October 22nd hearing before the House Select Committee on Benghazi. Wow. 
So nope. she she knew the truth all along. Yeah, see that tells you she knew the truth, but she chose to lie. <laughs> At eleven forty nine, Hillary contacted Libyan President Mohammed Margariev, also with the truth. There's a gun battle ongoing, which I understand Ansar al Syria is claiming responsibility for. This group is Al Qaeda's Libyan franchise. Then we talk about what Hillary knew. The next day, September twelfth, Hillary resumed her public lies. Some have sought to justify this vicious behavior along with the protest that took place at our embassy in Cairo yesterday as a response to inflammatory material posted on the Internet. She said in a speech at the State Department, America's commitment to religious tolerance goes back to the very beginning of our nation. But let me be clear, there is no justification for this, none. Echoing Hillary's lie, Obama claimed... And chimed in with his own lie that day. Since our founding, the United States has been a nation that respects all faiths. He mm-hmm. declared in the Rose Garden, we reject all efforts to denigrate the religious belief of others. But there's now, that. He, he already knew that that was a lie. Yeah, he already uh, knew that, that was a lie. The video was a lie, and he knew that Al-Qaeda was responsible. Al-Qaeda, he said, but there's absolutely no justification to this type of senseless violence, none. And he said that because he was up for re-election. That's that's what this That's is all about. the whole thing. Obama's press it's secretary, Jay Carney, lied even more explicitly that day. We have no information to suggest, suggest that it was a planned attack. So here's the lies on yeah, yeah, and on. Yeah. Well, then, they, they, they claim, you know, I'm sure within this, uh, they said, well, if we had told the truth, I probably wouldn't get reelected, so I've got to lie. Yeah, I've got to lie because it sounds better. Why? What do you think they lied about? What's the, the, well, what's a, the, the day after the attack, he went to Las Vegas with a, uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> to promote himself. <laughs> to play golf, huh? Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> uh, that means, as I say, these lives meant nothing. And then That's even a, even at the, uh, you know, when they were at the funeral or things, he was talking to the... The, the victim's yeah, relatives but, saying, you know, and Hillary did too, and said, we're going to get these people. We'll throw them in jail. Yeah. And they already knew that they weren't responsible. They weren't responsible, sure. So, I mean, lie after lie Well, they ended up arresting and, the guy too. I'll get, I'll get to that in a second. Yeah. It says, anyway, Hillary toggled back to private truth mode at 3 or 4 p.m. when she phoned Hisham Quandel, prime minister in Egypt's Islamist Muslim Brotherhood government, she told him, we know the attack in Libya had nothing to do with the film. It was a planned attack, not a protest. Based on the information we saw today, we believe it's a group that claimed responsibility for this was affiliated with al-Qaeda. Yeah. They think this was the early makings of ISIS. Probably. Probably, huh? With no doubt. It says, one more and then we have to break. It says, the Benghazi hearings confirm yet again what a brazen liar Hillary is. We want a president liar. Is that what we're looking for with Hillary? Well, I mean, running? it won't change. It won't change. He's not going to suddenly this administration to the next one. Yeah. It's one of the same. One and the same. Yeah. He said, you can be square with the American people. Representative Jim Jordan, a Republican out of Ohio, said about Hillary's initial statements on Benghazi. You tell your family it's a terrorist attack, but not the American people. You can tell the president of Libya it's a terrorist attack, but not the American people. And you can tell the Egyptian prime minister it's a terrorist attack, but you can't tell your own people the truth. <laughs> wow, what is this? Well, <laughs> I mean, get elected, right? Politics, politics as usual. Gen- and then it and said, Hillary reverted to public lies that September 14th during the ceremony at Andrews Air Force Base, which you were talking about, yeah, that's when she and Obama welcomed home the flag draped Caskets of yeah. Ambassador Christopher Stevens, Technical Officer Sean Smith, and former Navy SEAL Glenn Doherty and Tyrone Woods. We've seen rage and violence directed at American embassies over an awful Internet video that we had nothing to do with, Hillary said. Hillary took a totalitarian step further when, according to Tyrone Woods' father, Charles, Hillary told him, we will make sure that person who made that film is arrested and prosecuted. <laughs> now we got a break, but we'll be right back. Okay. It's more of the same. Here, <laughs> listening to KCAA, 10:50 a.m. and now 106.5 FM. You're listening to KCAA Loma Linda at 106.5 FM, K293 CF Moreno Valley. 
money, money, money. Most of us need extra money. Well, if you own something of value, go to Rich's Jewelry and Loan in Ontario. He'll loan you money on jewelry, musical instruments, tools, electronics, and almost anything of value. Or if you prefer, he'll purchase the item from you. And if you need a great buy in diamonds or a Rolex watch, Rich can save you hundreds of dollars. Don't waste time. Go to Rich's Jewelry and Loan, 124 West Holt Boulevard in Ontario. Give Rich a call, 986-2604, and tell him what you'd like to sell or bring in for a loan. Loan, loans, loans! Rich's Jewelry and Loan, 124 West Holt Boulevard, Ontario. Just when you thought you couldn't wait any longer, Lloyd and Greg are back. Yeah, we are. But, you know, Rich is a good guy. He is a, one of the more real And I guys. need a new watch. Yeah, I do too. Well, I, Maybe we can go together. Well, I want a Rolex. Oh, well. Uh, he's, got, he's got a bunch of those. He's got a Movado, though, that's pretty expensive. I've seen them. Oh, case. yeah, yeah. Well, I've got some good watches I bought for him in the past, but okay. I don't wear them. They're yeah. too good. Too good, yeah. But well, I he does. One. He has some good stuff. Gotta have that Rolex. I mean, I can. Well, sure, that's I can right. save fifty percent off of the regular retail price on one of those. Yeah, I know he. I did. I'm well, a, he's got some great stuff. His Rolexes. He's got a great supply of Rolexes. He don't display them all though. He. Yeah. You got to talk to him about it. Go see him. Go see him and talk to him. He'll do something with. I've him. got a foundation that I you can donate to. It's similar to the Clinton Foundation. You know, we're gonna do some good. <laughs> okay. And Go uh, ahead. I'm Mr. Not, I'm not Brock, with okay. lies, lies, yeah, lies, 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 lies. Anyway, Hillary Clinton, Benghazi defense is straight out of the '90s playbook. Whatever that is. <laughs> it's in. <laughs> she said. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> anyway, the video was was uh, uh, a farce by some yeah. shattery character. If you watch it, you'll see what a farce it is. Is directed at Muhammad and Islam, and, and, and it wasn't responsible for what happened. Yeah, there Obama you. told TV host David Letterman on September 18, uh, September 18, added that extremists and terrorists use this as an excuse to attack a variety of embassies, including the consulate in Libya. Fully 14 days after learning that the Benghazi attack was coordinated, Al Qaeda linked Islamic terrorists broadside against American territory and personnel. Obama stood before the United Nations General Assembly and lied, lied, and, and lied, lied again. He said there is no video just that justifies an attack on an embassy. Obama said that September 25th, the future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of, of Islam. Mm-hmm. The, great, the Clinton's greatest political gift, convincing millions of Americans to defend the indefensible. And he got reelected. And he got, that's right. And here's the, here's the deal where they are, uh, how her, her karma, if, they, if you want to use the word they're using today, this woman's karma works. Just two days out into the future, Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies fulfilled Hillary's chilling prophecy to Charles Woods, Nicola Basley, Nicola, the Egyptian Coptic Christian who created the notorious internet video, Innocence of Muslims, was arrested supposedly because he used a sodium and thereby violated parole on an unrelated bank fraud conviction. He subsequently was sentenced to a year in the Latuna Federal Correctional Institution in Texas. Never mind that the First Amendment should have shielded his right to produce whatever video he wanted yeah. on Muhammad or any other religious figure. That's true, yeah. Rather than molder behind bars, the producers of Broadway's The Book of Mormon still lap all the way to the bank as hard as their audience, Hal Knightley. Yeah. It says, Nicola was a convenient patsy. As such, Hillary appears to have transformed him from a four-quality filmmaker into, into, what, a political prisoner. Yeah. Okay. And it said, Hillary and Obama buried the truth beneath an oriental rug of lies. It covered up painful facts, lest they contradict the comforting campaign theme that Obama unveiled at the Democratic National Convention just five days before Later, Benghazi. Yeah. Al-Qaeda's on the path to defeat. And Osama bin Laden is dead. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and ISIS is still alive. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing and growing bigger and yeah. bigger and bigger. One of the Benghazi moms, after seeing this uh, uh, movie, says, uh, Hillary is a liar. <laughs> Understatement, <laughs> I think, huh? <laughs> well, we all know that. 
I mean, even the American, even the Democrats know that. Sure, and it helped win the White House. This whole thing put them in the White House. But see, here's this same thing that comes up again and again. Like, I've got relatives that are staunch Democrats, and they don't like Hillary, but they said, well, I can't vote against our party. So they vote a straight Democratic ticket. Ticket, yeah. Anyone who is a Democrat, it gets a check mark. Boom, boom, boom. You're in. You're in. Even if they are not qualified. That's right. Or even if they're liars. Even if they're liars. And cheats and whatever. Yeah, here, here's a good statement. I want to say this and then I'll close this off. It says, uh, anything these two liars say, you can't take at face value. How can you How can you believe anything they say when their whole terms have been predicated by the lies? Hillary for eons and uh, Obama since he was elected as president. We didn't oh, know yeah. much about him before. We still, still don't know. know much about him. <laughs> <laughs> and it says they already run believable thanks to uh, what uh, Lula calls liar in chief. He said, if you like your plan, you can keep your plan. Yeah. Serial deceptions on Obamacare and other nefarious matters. Ditto Hillary's decades of mendacity from cattle futures to there is no classified material on the clandestine email server that she willfully hid from scrutiny for seven years. Yeah. Whatever ever the credibility either of these reprobates may have possessed were extinguished with the ice water of Hillary's testimony last Thursday. Obama and Hillary's lies about the Benghazi massacre confirmed once and for all they are twin moral vacuums. They deserve all the scorn, disrespect, and rejection that such a disgraceful distinction demands. That's a good article. Very good article. <laughs> Thank you, Lou. Well, it doesn't end there. No, it doesn't. Not no. at all. Here's a, another thing from the newspaper, and it's called uh, Willful Disregard for the Truth. Oh, boy. And it's uh, not only Hillary and Obama are doing this. Oh, really? There's uh, other people that lie? Well, there's <laughs> Miss Pelosi. Oh. You know her. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, You mean she, Nancy? <laughs> yeah. In California? And she left both proponents of uh, legal abortion and uh, opponents slapping their heads in disbelief and <laughs> bewilderment. And she said, I don't believe in abortion or on demand, Pelosi said. <laughs> I don't believe that abortion is a form of birth control or contraception. And she went on to say, Pelosi said that she favors no limit on when abortion should be performed or why. She claims that the real issue was Republican men who are opposed to contraception. Oh, that's a whole problem. <laughs> <laughs> Republican men who are opposed to contraception. She said that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have something to say, but I probably can't get it on the radio. I wouldn't, I'll probably try. not. I'll I'd shut up. Just, in the interview, uh, Pelosi emphasized her Catholicism. And Hindenburger, who also is a Catholic in this uh, discussion, refrained from uh, reminding Pelosi about the biblical uh, abomination against uh, bearing false witness against one's neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> one of the Ten Commandments yeah, that it is them. surely the one most frequently broken by U.S. presidential elections years, you know. <laughs> it's true. There's no line pretty much yeah. getting broke pretty much now. <laughs> well, Democratic president, uh, frontrunner Hillary Clinton, for uh, one, has claimed firearms manufacturers are the only business in America that is wholly protected from any kind of liability. <laughs> She's wrong on two counts. <laughs> yeah. Gun makers are not wholly protected no, from litigation. Not. Neither it, it <laughs> is only industry shielded from product liability lawsuits. Uh, Clinton calls the Benghazi probe the longest running congressional investigation ever which isn't close to the, being the truth. No. She also asserted that no 2016 Republican candidate has addressed rising college costs. This was news to Mark Rubio, who has discussed it extensively. Wow. So lie after lie after lie. After lie, yeah. Uh, that's what we can expect from politics, and that's what turns people 
off completely. You know, we once had a president, his name was FDR, and I watched a movie yesterday called Pearl Harbor. Yeah. And they showed him after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, after the terrible thing that happened, he was in a wheelchair, you know, and he didn't, he downplayed his polio anyway. Yeah. But he was in a wheelchair, and he's talking to the people, and he, and he told him, he said that he'd never seen Americans look so defeated, and he seen defeat in their face. And he said, you know, and he stood up, he stood up uh, without help off of the wheelchair and walked to his desk. And he said, I don't want to hear about you can't anymore. And he made a statement at that time. And America got off their buns and started doing things. And guess what? We won a war. We won some freedom. Yeah, but the truth of that whole thing, when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, we knew about it sure. in advance. He knew about he it knew in about advance. It. But how much in advance? You know, well, there, there was enough. Uh, Maybe enough, huh? Yeah. We, they were playing politics back then, too. Sure, I, mean, I know they were playing. I'm not and there were lies and lies, and there's always been. Right. Uh, you know, I said uh, the other day, I said uh, the only, the last president that was really totally honest, I think, was uh, Harry Truman. Yeah. He yeah, said he was, he was straight up, here. Yeah. Uh, he didn't take anything when he left. Yeah, I think Eisenhower office. wasn't too bad either. Eisenhower wasn't too well, effective, but he wasn't a big liar as, as some of them are now. Yeah. You know. But he had his hidden agenda. He had his hidden and agenda. Sure. All his, of them did. His mistress. <laughs> his mistress on the side. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, you know, just. People were talking about, you know, Kennedy too, that they loved, uh, you know, Kennedy and. Yeah, well, he was still relatively honest too. Except for these relationships. Well, yeah, with yeah. The, well, you go back to those, personal, but all of the uh, all of the presidents had girlfriends or something, you know. It's, it's a, Bill Clinton. Yeah, well, that's a different story, you know. Yeah, well, a, that's true. He's a predator. He's not a. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. But, but look at him. Read read some of the reports. Well, he probably he hasn't stopped either, but no, did, we don't hear about that. We don't hear about that. No, no, no. I, I heard about some things that. Since he's left office, sure. And uh, these people know because they were there, but I'm not going to discuss that. No. And they don't want to come on the air and discuss yeah, they it. They don't. For, they won't come on. We for can fear, challenge. for fear of for the fear Clinton. Of what? Uh, the truth coming out. Rep no. <laughs> Reprisals. Reprisals. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The All right. Like we'll that. just. They don't want to discuss it. Period. No, that's the problem. You know, we can't discuss and get rid of it. But you know, this is uh, in this political uh competition right now oh yeah it's all gonna boil down to who's gonna be uh everybody will tell little white lies and sure. some are major lies that's the problem people and, die on those and then they said no i didn't say that wait a minute you you misinterpreted that what i said was yeah i didn't misinterpret yeah i know it. exactly what you said i said you want me to play that back yeah that's the good thing about an interview, and that's the good thing about TV now. And and they said, but if the media was they honest, they denied this, and then sure enough, there's a video, there's a video right in front sure. saying what. And they, it's on 27 uh, smartphones too, you know. Oh so, yeah, yeah. So they got yeah. plenty of documentation where before it was just the media say so. Well, you keep going and going, and the yeah. the lies never stop. Well, they can't. <laughs> you know, once you tell a lie, you have to continue. Well, if in, in this case, I mean, there's so many of them. I said, how do they keep track of them? Yeah. So, you know, my my mother used to always say, you know, uh, you lie enough that you can't keep track of those lies, and pretty soon it's going to, you know, yeah. it's going to mess you up. Well, you know and a you friend or two that, that you don't hang around with because they were liars, you know? You yeah. Just, you just it. stop hanging with them because everything you, you support of them it comes back a lie, you know? Yeah, and, and I said, I remember. <laughs> I said, I'm not getting that old yet. Not yet? Yeah, I, I still remember that. Okay. And uh, too bad they didn't record it at the time. Uh -huh. You know, if we're coming around with recorders all the time, and then, sure. then I have proof of that. And I'll be talking about that in a minute because this was in the L.A. Times today. Oh, okay. And I'll uh, talk yeah. about proof of something. So police officers can't lie. Oh, and, yeah? Uh, yeah, well, I'll tell you why. Judges <laughs> can't lie, huh? Oh, well. 
<laughs> they can okay. and they do, but and they do. Yeah, but <laughs> we got a case in in point with our our poor doctor where everybody was lying. It seems that's true. You know? Well, we got to break for a commercial again okay. and pay the bills. Let's do that. <laughs> Is it that time your car needs a smog check? Well, check out Quick Smog Check in Montclair. They guarantee your vehicle will pass or you pay not a thing. That's right. If it doesn't pass the test, what the heck, you don't have to pay. So what's the reason why you're not calling them? The number 909-626-5436. You can also drive right down there now. 5438 Holt Boulevard in Montclair. They're open 9 to 5, 6 days a week, Monday through Saturday. Do it now. No wait smog checks at Quick Smog Check in Montclair. 909-626-5436. Still mad as hell? Lloyd and Greg are back. That reminds me, I gotta get my uh, car smogged. I got, a, I got one that I okay, need to good. have smogged. I'll I'm going to hang down to quick yeah. check. Yeah, check it to Mark. All right. He does a good job quick and and uh, gives the elderly a little bit of a break. And Oh, I'm elder. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> on, always on it. Always on it, so. <laughs> I'm old as dirt. But you might have to put the cotton in your ears because he, he's got a potty mouth. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, I, I found out know. how. I met his mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> Two clones, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, when he was on the air here. He, he was good, wasn't he? He was good, yeah. yeah. yeah he, he, behaved. he behaved quite well. <laughs> At any rate, they were talking about lies and how to prevent, maybe. Yeah. That's but, a, you know, the, Now, you can't just talk about them without giving a little voice on how well, to stop to, them or prevent them. Yeah, today's L.A. Times. I got an article by uh, David uh, Zasner and okay. Kate Mather. Uh, LAPD bidding process was decried. They're trying to get body cameras for every single officer, but there is a, a no bid competition here. You see, they're not going out for bids because they said it takes too long and they've got to have cameras now huh. so that these officers can't lie. That body camera's right on them, and if they shoot somebody illegally or they, they stop somebody going. illegally, it'll show that. But of course, well, you have a lot of what's, what's to prevent them from turning that camera yeah, off turn and it say, off it or, malfunctioned? Or I yeah, get another 18 <laughs> minutes of uh, silence or something. Right? I don't know. But right now they're looking at uh, uh, buying cameras from uh, another department, which is not illegal, see. Uh, let's say they're looking at Kern County that okay. buys a lot of cameras, and they supposedly have a deal uh -huh. uh, with this taser company. And uh, they're going to do that, and I guess they're going to order thousands. Wow. But, uh, they, How good are those at catching everything? You do you well, do a lot of film, yeah. film yeah, and you yeah, know what yeah, the cameras yeah. can and can't do. Well, as long as you're facing the individual, it'll capture that. If you got your back turned to them or sideways, it won't, and yeah. it won't catch it, capture it, but... I mean, it's it's better than nothing, and it yeah. does uh, exonerate a lot of police officers because because the uh, camera clearly shows that the perpetrator will you know say, hey, that didn't happen. He said, well, well look over here, I've got a body cam. Oh, okay. And you got uh, some in the vehicle, but they had a problem. Uh, these um, supposedly they they're going to charge Kern County buys them for three hundred ninety nine dollars a piece. Uh -huh. And they could buy them from another organization for $99 a piece. Oh, my goodness. So uh, people are objecting. They're paying too much for too these much cameras, money, yeah. and they should go out to bid. I think so. Which is true. I think that's the only thing that's uh, questioned about that. I, I think it's a good plan. I think it's a good program. Well, I got a friend that uh, sells these. I mean, yeah. he's uh, working for a company that does, and I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe it's the one that. <laughs> the $399? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so, though. No, I, but no. uh, you know, I think it should go out to bid, bid and then they get. Yeah, the they should if there's that there. much discrepancy in the. Uh, but there was a um, a proposal that the cameras they would have in the vehicles uh -huh. uh, be facing the driver in the back seat. 
Oh, okay. And they said, no, they didn't want this. Certain police departments said, no, they didn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of beatings happened in that backseat, you know. Well, and other stuff. Uh, sexual behavior yeah, and yeah, things like that. So, behavior. you know, it. Uh, I can see some of the reasons, but uh, the public should be oh, yeah. aware. It should face front and back. Oh, yeah. It should, you know, it should cover on, the whole thing. The whole arrest yeah. should be covered in full every aspect of it. But no. here again, if I were a police officer, I'd say Big Brother is watching me well, of course. 24 7. But I can't you know, even pick my nose. They said, uh uh, no, that's not good. You're picking your nose. Yeah. And, well, that's uh, true. I mean, you got to be on their best behavior, I yeah. guess. I saw you pop that pimple. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, is, couldn't there be circumstances where the, the camera would ride off and then they, you'd click it on? Or that wouldn't work. They want 24-7. You'd have to have 24-7, wouldn't you? Yeah. And well, if you're writing with a partner, you can't discuss certain issues. Yeah, right. Some things Say, are, would be hey, taboo, how's, wouldn't they? How's that affair going yeah, with how, that gal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Does your wife you know about that? this? Yeah, you know? did you see that? Did you see this? Yeah, you couldn't do that. Of course, that. she doesn't watch the video. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> But in court, it might be embarrassing. It might be very embarrassing. It says, look, you were having an affair with this woman. Yeah. Uh, another subject. Yes. But this is uh, 3D, 3D printing. Uh-huh. You, you realize how effective that is? No, I really don't, but you, 3D printing. They can print this young girl. Uh-huh. She had lost her arm in a car accident. Okay. And what they've done is... Uh, Sydney Kendall, this is an article, one of the magazines. Okay. Lost her right arm below the elbow in a boating accident. It was a boating accident oh. when she was six years old. And now she's 13. She has used several prosthetic arms since then. But none is as functional or as cool, she'll argue, as her plastic 3D printed robotic arm. Huh. She can do everything with it. See it? I see it, yeah. This is, uh, I don't know if they can see that on camera. They might, right. It's, uh, in fact, it's a bright pink. A bright pink arm. Yeah, with It's robotic, yeah. It's, uh, it's robotic totally looking. robotic, and they can build these things, and they're doing it with arms, legs. Uh, <laughs> there are troops that come well, this back is a great the thing. This battlefield is a... sure. and have this same option. Yeah, this but is But this great. 3D printing is really amazing. Yeah. And they're talking about uh, uh, doing body parts, too. Oh, boy. Yeah, that so, sounds, that's <laughs> really, uh, that's a great thing. Uh, it, the process can save time and practically bring production of medical devices to a patient's bedside. Wow. So this is Yeah, that's progress. some interesting stuff, yeah. But here again, uh, we discussed last week uh, what, uh, you know, Basically, we were talking about imagination and creativity. Sure. That takes a lot of imagination and creativity, and uh, we're lacking a lot of those skills in America today sure. to bring new devices and new ideas And you can do such incredible forefront. things with those machines and stuff. Well, yeah. You've got to get in there to do it. And I don't They want I don't somebody think else to that, do it uh, for them, you know. I don't think these kids uh, doing their video games and stuff like that and texting all day long are gonna be that creative. I don't think so either, I really don't, you know. So I don't know where they're coming from. I'd like to find out who invented this 3D. I'll bet it yeah. was somebody outside of the country that didn't have access to, access all, of to all the stuff. electronic devices. And, you yeah. know, I discussed this the other day with the teacher, and uh -huh. she says, you're right. He said, our kids are not that creative or inventive uh, because of all the electronic devices that they rely on at home. Yeah. You go home and they play video games or they watch their favorite TV, uh, interactive, and they've got Skype, and here you're talking to somebody right on the, you yeah. don't have to go outside your home. You don't have home, to go outside the house at all. And you're eating snacks and getting fatter and fatter. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing on that, by the way? I'm, I'm losing some. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, losing some. All right, good. Yeah. <laughs> How you're doing that? What about you? I'm doing okay. Yeah, I'm well. staying the same. <laughs> Do you belong to a gym? What? No. I, I, I know. I know Jim though. Yeah, yeah I, I know Jim well. Yeah. 
but I don't belong to a gym. No, I don't either. And I should exercise I never more. have. I've never, went, except when I was a kid. Vic Tannies, remember Vic yeah. Tannies? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> There's another item here that I'd like to bring up on Mattis Ellen. Okay, good. The candidates, uh, I've forgotten to mention uh, most of the uh, poverty in America. Oh, yeah. They haven't addressed that issue. Yeah, it's, why? Because it's not and get as, votes. It's not as important as security, econ- the economics, uh-huh. and immigration. Poverty's way down on the level, well, but they should look at that. You know, I feel sorry right now. They closed uh, the city of New York uh, today because of all the snow. Uh-huh. They've just uh, at four o'clock the subway doesn't run, uh, and it. 2.30, they were closing down the highways and stuff, and they said, get back to your house. Now, what, what about all the poverty and the homeless people? Where are they? Yeah. I'll bet you there's going to be hundreds of people that die sure. during this storm because they have no place to go. And somebody should address that whole thing. Sure. You know, here in California, we've got a... a we got a shelter thing or something, but we don't have that well, snow like yeah, that Well, yeah, but a lot either. of people, as they say, they... Uh, in L.A., they have that same problem, the homeless issue, and a lot of people don't want to go uh-huh. to these homeless shelters because then they have to follow the rules. That's right. And many of them are mentally ill. That's what and happens. And they don't follow any rules. They just go out and do During these Katrina, things on their own. I, I don't see that. Uh, I don't have an answer to it uh, since we, well, basically a lot of the people should be in mental institutions and not out there homeless. Sure. During the Katrina disaster, our church set up a, a shelter with over 210 beds in, uh, for the people to come here. We're gonna, we brought them here, or we would have brought them here. Not one soul showed up, not one family, not one person come to California. Oh, and, they did. And they, they, a lot of them but did. But not for our shelters. Our shelter well, there was stayed some, dormant. Some in Rialto, some in San Bernardino. Yeah, but, I remember reading but they never the filled up there. either. None of them ever filled up. Well, and it was uh, really strange that our church still didn't. Well, didn't a lot anybody. of them went to Houston, Texas. Yeah, they didn't want to come this they far. Went to That's Texas, what the, yeah. the disclaimer was. They didn't want to come any farther than Texas. Yeah, so, a lot of them never came back to New Orleans, and that's a big problem, too. Yeah, I got it. But uh, poverty in America is a big problem. And here again, we're spending billions of dollars. Well, in San Bernardino, on, you know, they could address a lot of this. They have a lot of. Of apartments, a lot of buildings that they could uh, uh, maybe rehab and and help e- Here make again, this it's, not It costs money to yeah, do all these the things. Yeah, that's the problem. It costs money. Nobody's so. got any money, and they say, and they could uh, uh, apply for grants to sure. do this. And a lot of people have done that in other cities, uh-huh. and I'm sure there's some that are doing it here in a limited uh, quantity. Sure, it's a very limited. But we thing. still have. Uh, uh, there was a reporter out there that I wanted to invite on the program that did a story on homeless uh-huh. people in well, San Bernardino County. And uh, I think I, uh, you know, if he's listening, I'd yeah. like to have him come on and, and talk about that because he's done some extensive reporting in that area. And uh, we really need to solve this problem. We do. And I think it's solvable. I don't think the the poor, you can't solve the problem of, of poor, but well, you can that's sure true. Think, that's uh, true. Well, uh, and solve the problem of homeless, you know, at least give them the opportunity. When well, we spend billions of dollars sure. on giving to countries that hate our guts. That hate our guts, right. They just soon blow and us out of the water. This, <laughs> Iran's getting $150 billion, yeah. and we're having to pay $1.7 billion in interest. Yeah. Isn't that you know, I've got a better idea. Why don't they give that $1.7 billion? Or take a portion of it, and for every year that these guys were in jail there that they just released, yeah, give, give them a million dollars a year. Yeah, that would be fair. That would be fair. Not sure. give them interest rate because <laughs> yeah, it's, it's totally unfair. So we did that, and uh, well, I don't think we know what the next week's show will be, but we'll bring you something good. But we. And hopefully my voice, will, voice be will be back. Return and, and hopefully you guys will uh, call and let us know where you're at, what, what you're That's thinking true. in San Bernardino. You know, the number uh, toll-free is 1-888-909-1050, and the local number is 1-909-888-5222. Until next week, 
Yeah, I'm Lloyd Bronk. And I'm Greg Simpson. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Get your voice back. Right? Yeah, I will. When you're single towers Colored Well it's This is ten fifty AM KCAA Loma Linda and one oh six point five FM Yukaipa. NBC Sports Radio Update starts now. Big news in the NBA continues to really be the fact that the Cavaliers let go of their head coach. They fired David Black. The general manager, David Griffin, says, I only consulted with the owner, Dan Gilbert. People seem to think superstar LeBron James had something to do with it. LeBron James said...